All right. Here we go. I'm going to carve some apples, make them to shrunken apple heads. I got, now what I was saying was, I got my hands on some tweezers and some rice. That's going to be for decorating some of the teeth areas. These are the initial ones we did, this little guy here. He came out pretty cool so far. They're still going to shrink even more. I did these only a couple days ago and I've been putting them in the sun during the day and then bringing it in at night so they don't mold. I have a toothpick, a bunch of toothpicks, and three more apples. And we're going to carve more apples today to make more shrunken apple heads. Set the coffee. I even have a little paint today because I'm gonna try to paint little eyeballs on these white beans that I found and see how that looks. I'm just carving. So find your paring knife or a apple peeler, peel your apple. And you can also just use toothpicks to carve and butter knives if you're not comfortable with a sharp knife. Let me get myself a little toothpick out here. Sweet. Here we go, yeah, guys, let's do this. Hmm. Let the apple be the shrunken head. These are also different apples, so I'm gonna see if these work out differently or not. Let's see here. Hmm. I'll leave a little bit on the top. Little hairline. Kind of like the hairlines, they look pretty cool. So I'm gonna start with doing that. And the thing with these is you basically, you get your carving, you get your basic shapes and forms of the face or the skeleton. You can even make kind of day to dead skeleton type things with these, see how they work out. I'll try to do that with one of them. Not this one. I'm gonna do three of them with you today. This one, I'm gonna do another just like little creepy guy with hair. I'm gonna carve down on this one. Another one I'll carve around. Now, if you're doing my technique, make sure, and Martha Stewart's technique, and you're using a paring knife, go very slowly and work your way around being sure not to cut your fingers. Okay. Does anyone know why they call these little knives paring knives? Me neither, look it up. Probably because you're supposed to take the core out of a pear or an apple, or it's for exactly what we're doing here, a little carving of skin off of pears. But why don't they call it an appling knife? Wait, pairing, I bet you that means something else besides cutting up a pear? Could that be pairing? I should know this. Somebody look it up and tell me what it is. All right, coming down. Now I'm just carving out the hair with my little paring knife. Pretty fun, kind of relaxing. Again, like all the crafts and arts we do, you guys, just find the zone, get in the zone and just This one's nice too, because if you're so inclined, you have a little bite of the apple skins. Mmm, that's delicious. So now I got a little, little top on mine, a little flowery top. And I'll carve my head down here. I'm gonna get more of this bottom peels off. Eat a piece too. Mmm, delicious. That's a good apple. Mmm, wow. That's delicious. Oh my god, I can't stop eating it. Too good. Okay, look at my little apple. I think I'm gonna put a little squishy head right in here. 
gonna take my, what is this thing? I think I'm gonna cut that piece off so I have a little more room to shave, to shave, to carve the head. Now, the apple head is protruding out and we need to carve it away. So that's like a relief carving. Like if we had a stone, but to carve and see the sculpture within the apple and pull it out. So I'm gonna try to keep this nose piece right here pretty high out. Let's use this first before we start cutting. I'll give this guy a smaller nose. See that? Okay. I just draw it. Just draw it. That's gonna be my nose right here. He's gonna have a squishy little face. Got a tiny nose. And that's where the eyes will go here and here. Now I'm gonna pull this away. There's one. Leaving the nose. See that? I can eat this too. Delicious. Got this little spot under the nose. You know what I'm gonna do with this guy? I'm gonna give him an abnormally large mouth. Little nose, eyes will go here. I'll make the mouth like really big. And then we'll put a bunch of teeth inside of it and see how that comes out. Let me bring in this out a little more. Carve out the eyes so they're really deep and shrunken into the head. Because I think we'll also see about putting some beans in the eyes, see if that works. So they said Granny Smith apples work the best and I, those are kind of what I used the first time. And then these were the other ones from a different tree in my backyard. So we'll see how these work. But so far they're working just as good. I'm just carving away. There we go. Get some of the juice out of there. I ate it. Why not? Okay. Now, I'm gonna pull this brow line back a little bit, give it a little more depth, and then cut it away. There we go. I'm just gonna look good. And then, you can kind of like carve away some stuff, carve away. Yeah, it's looking great. See that? I'm gonna do a big mouth, I said on this guy, big mouth, like all the way out here, kind of creepy. Isn't that like a creepy thing from like some horror comic books and stuff? I've seen it, I know I have. Big mouth. Big mouth with creepy teeth. Can't wait to see the jack-o'-lantern. When we do our jack-o'-lanterns, think about what you want to do to make that look really cool and be either creepy or funny. I was thinking maybe I'll do Mr. T. Mr. T or uh, the dude from the movie The Big Lebowski. I'm not sure yet. Or I'll just do like a creepy thing. Like these. Ha 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 ha. Look at that, huh? Delicious. Okay, now I'm gonna carve around here a little bit more. He doesn't really have a chin line, but whatever, man. He's an apple. I think this apple is just happy to have become something and not just an apple pie. Just to live on and scare people. I'm gonna try not to break that bottom lip because that came out really cool. I'm pull this around here. That, and I'll carve this away. I'll kind of draw a line type thing. 
I'm just eating it as I go. It's such a good apple. I can't imagine wasting it. Now, the back of the head, so I'm gonna bring that in a little bit. Mmm. Eat a little more. All right. I think this guy's almost done with this. Okay. I don't really need to worry too much about making too many details because as they shrink, the details happen naturally from the shrinking of the apple. See that? And these guys aren't even fully shrunk. So I'm gonna put him here. I'm gonna accessorize. And with this guy, I'm gonna try some white bean eyes. See how this works. I haven't done this yet. I didn't hear of anyone doing it. I'm just gonna see if it works. The, I did some bead eyes on these guys and they all fell out. So we, it's something we might have to add later, I'm realizing. But if we can get them to stick, it'd be pretty cool. But it's something we might have to just add later and then stick later on. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna stay. But I can always, if they fall out, I can put them back in later. Like this maybe. Let's see. And then let's see. I grabbed a little black paint. Let's see what happens. And then I'm gonna use a brush and just gonna put just a touch. Just a touch. Right the back of one of my uh, toothpicks. <laughs> I don't think those are gonna stay in. I might have to put them in again later after it dries, but I like it for now. I'm gonna find a whole, oh, an ear. I forgot to give him an ear. Ears kind of, I don't know, they kind of make it. I like having ears on these guys. I'm gonna give him a quick ear, just kind of carve a little shape like that. Carve around the back of it so it sticks out a little bit. Carve around the top of it. There we go. Carve a little hole in the middle. Oh, I broke the bottom of the ear. Look at that. Well, whatever. He's a ghouly guy. He can have a broken ear. He has no real room on this, this side for an ear, but I'll carve a little something out of there. Like he had an ear, but it doesn't have one anymore. It'll just look good. There he is. Oh, and then teeth. Right now he looks kind of goofy. Let's give him some, uh, here's the question. Do we give him barley teeth? I found this barley. See that? Or do we give him white um, rice teeth? I'm gonna go with barley. And I got myself this time some tweezers because I couldn't do it with my fingers last time. And I'm just gonna take the piece of barley and I'm gonna just stick it in there. Yep, that's gonna be sweet. Okay, I'm just gonna like, stick it in there. And as he dries, I'm hoping it closes in on the barley. Yep, you definitely wanna use tweezers for this. I tried doing this by hand last time and it was really hard. So if you have yourself some some grains. I guess these work really well for decorating. I guess I know. And the thing is, with with the grains and using all the food stuff, is I looked up the history of apple carving, and I, mean, I can't recite it word for word, but basically, colonial times, families would make would actually make these shrunken heads and make little dolls, and then. Um, really actually decorate them with, uh, with like uh, fabrics and make like real like bodies out of sticks and stuff. And these shrunken heads, if you shrink them correctly and they don't get moldy, they become dried fruit and they just last a long time because these were like ways to make little toys and stuff. Um, Native Americans 
did it as well. Um, and they made little little dolls and they're using, you know, like they don't have plastic, they can't go to Amazon and order some cheap toys shipped over from China to pollute the world with all the plastic. Nope, they had to make stuff with what they had in their environment and uh, there was plenty of apple trees, I assume. And there we go, that is it. What's up, look at how cute he is. Isn't that baby? That is me. Just like that. Carved in little apple carving gang. So now we gotta find a home for him on the pedestal. I think I like him right up front down below. So that being said, I'm gonna break this. Boop, boop. I'm gonna put this right in the bottom. It's going straight up and down. Don't stab yourself, make sure your fingers are out of the way. Perfect though. It looks good, he's gonna change the angle so he looks up a little bit more. Oh yeah, yeah, there it is. But what did I put to do? Put the mix on him. So I need the mix. What's the mix? The mix is the apple vinegar and salt or lime juice and salt. And what these will do is prevent it from getting moldy as it dries. If you don't do this, Martha Stewart told me um, that they will mold horribly. Now, what is the precise amount, you ask? And a few people have asked me in the past. I say about this much vinegar and about this much salt. Done. Is that the right amount? I don't know. Is this gonna work? Maybe. But I'm not about to start measuring stuff out. Chemistry didn't really work too well for me. I was not into all those exact measurements. Um, so I'm gonna spoon it all over him. I hope it doesn't ruin my paint that I just did. Didn't think about that, I should have thought about that sooner. That's all good. Last time I was dipping them, but I feel like I wasted a little too much vinegar. And I'm just gonna spoon it on all around, make sure it gets everywhere and soaks in a little bit. And I think this is what prevents the molding from happening. And a few people in the tutorials I watched wiped off the apple cider vinegar or the lime juice. Um, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna really let it soak in. I feel like the more the better, right? I'm not gonna like put it on and take it off. Let's let it like really soak in there so it works. I do not want these little guys molding on me. They look really cool. I want them to stay cool. Stay cool, bro. I want you guys to stay cool too. I don't mean turn on your AC, I mean just be cool. Chill, bro. Mm. This, is, this is fun too, this is therapeutic. I'm like, I'm like giving my, my little buddy a little little bath, washing his hair. Hey, little buddy, how oh, cute he is. Little brother. Call him, what should we call this guy? Hmm, looks like a Neil. Or a, uh, Hmm, maybe a Billy, little Billy. Aw, little Billy. All right, have your little apple cider vinegar bath with salt. I'm just gonna get some of the drips off and put them right on my little stand where he will live forever. There you go, little butter. Little brother, we'll call him little brother. All right, there he is. Numero dos, here we go. I'm just gonna do three of these while you guys are doing yours. Three different ones, I'll try to make them unique. I'll do the best I can. Now, I don't really have a plan for my next one, or anything for that matter, so let's see what we do here. This one, cut the wrist. Maybe I'll make this one, try to make it more, less of a face and more of like a creature. I wonder if we could do something like that. Well, let's peel this one now, like uh, 
traditionally. We'll get it peeled first. I'm not going to leave any hair on this one. I'm just going to peel from the top. If you don't know how to peel an apple, it's a good skill. You just kind of come around. You could use an uh, apple peeler. I tried that last time. It didn't really work for me. I get the top right off. Eat it if you want to. And then I come around. And I, as close to the skin as I can, I just kind of follow my line. Keep going. And if you just fall down, you keep going on this angle, you should be able to do it in oh, this little piece right there. There we go. Back on track. Come around. Keep on peeling. All right. Sweet. Now let me get this bottom piece off. Huh. Maybe we do one upside down. Have anyone done that yet? What does the apple want to become? That is the question. Now I want to peel this one fully. Let's fully peel this one. So we can just... And I, like I said, we have a bunch of like doll head looking things. I think I might make something a little more abstract for this one. Try a bite. Delicious. Okay. Hmm. Where do we turn this one into? I'm seeing it. I'm seeing a mouth right here. Some eyes out here. Oh, I'm feeling this one. I'm seeing it. We're making an alien. Done. Alien. Believe. That's what I say. Yeah, there's got to be aliens out there. Will we ever see them? That's a tough call, being that the universe is expanding at a rate faster than we could imagine traveling. So even if they are out there, we're heading toward them in whatever direction. How we get to them is so far away. Millions of light years. That's, you know, but we'll have to figure out some wormholes or black hole type transporty things. We're gonna pull that off one of these days. Sip of coffee. And here we go. I'm seeing an alien. I'm gonna make the basic alien head shape first. It's gonna be a wrinkly alien. I'm gonna eat some of that. E.T. would be a good idea, but I want to do like a traditional Area 51 alien, you know? Mm-hmm. Delicious. There we go. Getting a basic alien shape. <laughs> it's going to be so wrinkly when it's done, but it'll be funny. I can't help eating these little slices. They're so perfect and delicious. All right. I'm gonna try and make it as smooth as possible. All right, it's enough apples, man. Show up the apples of the. Hmm. That side, see that? So let's bring this down a little bit. Really bring it to a point. Like the little alien heads we're all used to drawing or seeing. Okay. Bring this top around a little bit. Bring this around. I'm just trying to make it nice and round like an alien head. And it doesn't really matter because it's going to shrink up and do its own thing anyway. So, I'm going to make a big eyes out here. Carve out big eyes. Let's use the toothpick. That toothpick has paint on it. Let's get another toothpick. There we go. Okay. Now 
I'm doing is big alien eyes. You know the ones I'm talking about. Cool. Other side, try to match that one. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because you know this is gonna shrink into its own thing anyway. Oh yeah, and then the next one, I'll do a Day of the Dead skull. So this one is an alien. We got little brother, alien, then Day of the Dead skull. And then, and then we have our other three from last class. And you guys, for your final apple carving, I think you should have two or three of them since we did this for two days and they don't really take that long. And you have to do it sooner than later, don't wait till they're due because they take about two weeks to fully dry. Plus the whole point is we're not, we're doing this for fun. We're doing this for Halloween. And I just happen to give you an A plus for doing it. Like this isn't an assignment. This is a, I don't know, it's just, it's life. It's fun and I get to give you a good grade for having fun. Now go out. So, there we go. What kind of cool creations are you gonna come up with? That's what I'm curious about. Are they gonna be basic, just basic heads? You're gonna make them like really cool and unique? There we go. Got one of the eyes carved out from an alien head. Alien apple head, see that? No, I'm gonna need, I'm really gonna dig this one out. Try not to break it. But you do, just keep remembering it does not have to be perfect because it will um, dry and wrinkle and do its own thing anyway. So just do the best you can. Definitely gonna eat that piece. Delicious. I didn't eat breakfast yet. I'm not really a big breakfast person. This is my breakfast today. I'm getting excited for Halloween. I know it's kind of canceled because of COVID, but you know, we can still dress up and have fun and decorate our houses. And then we have all these cool skills for next Halloween. All right. There we go, we got a couple alien eyes now. I'm definitely going to put some stuff in there. Now these aliens, from what I know, don't really have ears. They have little mouths and little nose holes. I'm not gonna make nose holes, I'm gonna make a little nose stick out a little bit. I'm also going to cut around the bottom of the eye, just a touch. Take off with just a little bit, and make the nose stand out just a little bit. Just like that. Sometimes it's all the colors, like white on white, so it's hard to see the carving you're doing. There we go. And then I'll do little notches. I'll just go. There's one. Little tiny nose hole. Oh, the kind of connected to that, but it looks cool. I'll do it. I'll deal with it. I like it. You know, we could for that we could even put like a little piece of barley there. Oh no, that looks good. See that? See that? Now a little mouth, and I'm gonna call this one done. Some natural light coming in. So I'm just doing a little tiny mouth. See that? Mm 
There it is. It's my little alien guy. Or girl. I don't do the little ear holes. Right next to the eyes. Definitely gonna place some <coughs> white beans deep in the eyes, whether they pull out or not, we'll worry about later. All right, let's see here. What I'm doing, I paint these ones. No, I'll put them in and paint them. Just get them in there. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good. One. Okay, we'll see if that works. I don't want to put any barley in the nose area. Let's see. Nah, let's get that. Got a little apple juice on it. So now I want to grab my little bit of paint, put a little dab for the pupil. Just a little touch on that. And then come in. And this side. There it is. Alien head. Take me to your leader. All right. That's number two. Oh, dropping paint. Ah, oh, getting paint everywhere. Wipe that off. Wipe that off. Now. Where is the alien head gonna go? I think the alien head has to go way back here next to the cyclops, but pretty high. So I'm not gonna cut alien head. I got a spot for him here. Alien head can go. I'll have him looking off to the side right there. Like that. All right. Let's see what we're doing there. Oh, I almost forgot. We gotta put him in the bath. Shake it around a little bit, mix it in. Again, this is um, apple cider vinegar and salt or lemon juice and salt. And this will stop the, any kind of molding. I put it all around. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to wipe it off. I'm just gonna let it soak in. I don't care if I get a little apple cider vinegar on my table. Just gonna just scoop it in there. Scoopy scoop. There it is. Sweet. Put them right in there. There it is. Alrighty, now, one more. Bing, bang, boom. Put that there, take a sip of my coffee. Ah. Wipe my knife off, start fresh. Move the carnage over there, out of the way. Right there. One little area. I'm gonna put a little extra light on for this. One. better. I should have been doing that the whole time. Back at it. I'm an apple carver machine. Perhaps I will turn this into a career. I will be a professional shrunken head apple carver. I'll make millions. Trillions even. 
Okay, so now we're going for a straight up skeleton head. Kind of try to get that like candy skull, day of the dead look to it. I don't have a reference, but I did enough, I can figure it out. Let's make it purely zero skin on this one because if it's just a apple head, I'm even gonna take the stem off of this one. And since, because we're sticking in the box, I'm gonna take the stem off first, then I'm gonna carve it like we have before. I'm gonna try and make this one just a clean apple head. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Cool. There we go. Stem out. Then, get my peel on. Peely peel. Bing bong. I don't know what kind of apples these are. It's from a tree in my backyard, I should know. I didn't plant them, so pretty delicious. Next year, I think I'm gonna make some pies. And next year, if we're in the real classroom, I will fully have enough apples just to bring in for everybody. Because so many apples went to waste this year. I wasn't prepared, and they all ripened and fell, and then I didn't really go to waste. My check-ins ate a lot of them. So that's kind of cool. Peeling around slowly. If you're using a sharp knife, watch your fingers and your skins. All right, there we go. Another one down. Fantastic. Even carving the skin off is a little therapeutic and relaxing. Just kind of, it's a craft, you know? Just getting as close to the edge right there. I'm just kind of trying to follow that line, follow the flow. Get in your own little space. There it is. Just about there, people. Just about there. Boom. This one I want zero skin on this one because I said this one is going to be a little skull. So I want it to be really clean. Oh, that's nice. Should have done that sooner. If you have a little rag or something with you, you can kind of like get some of the moisture off of it before you carve it. So this one, we want to make into a skull. I wonder if I can do it this way. I'm gonna try to do it this way because I want it to be, this the other kind of wide. I want it to be kind of taller. So look at the apple and find where, how it wants to become what it wants to become. Right there, that looks like the skull part. If I move around, I'm too skinny. I see it right there. So before I do this again, I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna pair this out of here. Anyone look up pairing? Does that mean like taking the core out of something? That's what I assume maybe it is. Pairing knife made for, cool, like, you know, taking out the apple cores. I'm gonna have to look that up later. Why is it called a paring knife? Is it just for cutting pears? Because I'm cutting apples. And where'd that skull go? Is that it right there? I think that's it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna carve down like this. Just a simple round. Maybe I'll draw it with this first. Yeah, 
down there. Bring this out. I'm gonna start hitting the core on this, so hopefully this works out. I think it will. Even if it looks a little funky now, I know it'll dry and it'll be different, it'll look cool. Kind of carve that out. There's the side view. So we need, need to bring this up. And then this down. There we go. And then this can come out here. I'm definitely eating that piece. That's a good one. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> There's gonna be a side view here. So. And then I'll bring this. There we go. See, this is gonna be the front of the skull here. bottom jaw a little wider, but it's all right. I'm gonna cut like little, to be sure not to break them. If I break one of these, then I kind of messed it up. So you gotta be really careful with this. Really careful, Chris. One, okay. Two, oh yeah, I got this down now. I'm super careful. One more over here. That's how confident I am. Almost too confident. I think I might have messed it up. Nope, nailed it. Now, for this, we know we need kind of carve this away a little bit. And then we're gonna have to do big, deep eyes right here and here. So I'm just gonna do like I did on the sides and just kinda. Use the edge of my knife, butter knife, paring knife, whatever you're using, it's fine. Really gonna dig it deep. Now the, yeah, there we go, look at that. Now the other one is gonna go right here. Oh, I got a little mess up there, but it'll come together. This part's fun. Dia de los Muertos skull. Super cute. Okay. Now we just need a couple little notches for the nose. And I'm gonna leave this one pretty clean. I think I'm gonna use this right here. Nope, we use the knife instead. Boom, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. Eyeballs in this one? Or just keep it pure? No eyeballs, just skull. That's the question, eh? Whoops, I don't want to deep on that. Eyeballs and no eyeballs, that is the question. Let's see. Ooh, I have straight black beans. We just put those in. Straight up, let's see how that looks. Yep, nailed it. Oh, I keep nailing it so good today. This is great. Oh my goodness. Yep, there it is. That's it. Got it. Push that in a little bit. Oh, almost screwed that up. Oh, there it is. Oh. There it is. Ready? Nailed it.
nailed it. What do you guys think? I think that's good. One more thing. All right. Now for the bath, let me put it on a stick first. So this one's gonna go here on the bath. Let's we'll put that one up there like that. Great. Probably like that. Let's hope that works. Now, spin the mix. Spoon it, spoon it. I let it soak in there. Little buddy. This is really fun. I'm actually super stoked we did this because I think I'm just gonna do this every year, regardless of craft class or just life. Something fun you can do with your family, your kids, your little brothers and sisters and cousins. It's kind of like, you know, I feel like I'm doing like Easter eggs or carving pumpkins or whatever holiday uh, traditions you have. This could easily be one. And apples, if you don't have an apple tree, are actually, you know, fairly inexpensive. And you don't have to waste them. You can still do stuff with all these. You can make apple skins. I'm sure we could look up a million different recipes on what to do with the apple leftovers. And uh, super stoked. I hope you guys are too. I hope they come out great. I know they will. And if you do them, they come out cool. You get an A plus, you can't beat that. Okay. There's our little skull. Take a look. That way, right? And then we're gonna put them in here. And just cover it by this guy a little bit. So this one, just set up my little bouquet of guys. I'm gonna take this guy down a little bit. Set up of shrunken apple guys. Hey buddy. Guys is like three days in. Another one. We did the first day. Little Ferris's face is pretty crazy. And then the alien, believe. <laughs>